Games Workshop released a cinematic trailer today for Kill Team featuring orcs and Deathcore of Krieg. I really like the concept of Kill Team and as soon as I find the time I will build a team of my own and make some videos about it because even I can paint a handful of minis for a skirmish game to my preferred standard in a somewhat reasonable time frame. And I really like the Deathcore of Krieg because, well, it's German and I can finally pronounce something right in a video. So the trailer shows a skirmish of a handful of deathcore and some orcs and I'm not really sure if I like the art style and frankly I find the narrative a bit too blunt and maybe predictable. But maybe I am a bit too critical and I won't lie, any footage with decent quality coming out of the studio that can be used for inspiration is appreciated in my book. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. There's something else here that is exciting. Why are they choosing Krieg soldiers for this trailer? I always loved the concept of Krieg. To me, it is the embodiment of what 40k means for the regular infantryman. Trench warfare, expendable manpower for the meat grinder, completely surrendering your individuality, hence the gas masks, to the greater good of the empire or your nation, like what happened during the dehumanizing battles of World War I, from which the Scots clearly draw their inspiration from. And ultimately, this miserable existence ends with certain death. I've always been drawn to these Scots. I find them really inspiring. I like the eerie gas masks, the horse-like riding animals that, if you look at them closely, are not horses. And they're also wearing gas masks, an alien concept, a disturbing picture that invokes anxiety and uneasiness. This diorama is probably among my all-time favorite creations. I loved every second that I invested into it. I could play with the heraldry of World War I that the figures draw inspiration from and place them on an alien planetary surface pockmarked by craters and furrowed by miles of trenches. And I could try to invoke all of these feelings of the fact that, in the grim darkness of the future, there is only war. But the minis are made of resin, and they come with all the flaws this material inherently has and the way production works with it, like molds breaking down after a certain number of casts and leaving giant mold lines, air bubbles the size of a fist, well, a miniature fist, but still, and so on. Resin is just not meant for mass production, because you need a giant quality control department, unless you simply don't care, like the fine cast debacle has shown us, and even though Forge World has better quality, or maybe just a bigger quality control department, it's still plagued by a lot of these problems. So maybe if. Remember that a few months back, a lot of core Creek units were displayed as sold out and no longer available in the Forge World online store. Of course, there was other circumstances that this could be attributed to, but it makes me wonder. Could it be that the line is slowly faded out? Are we getting... I mean, could it be that we're getting a full plastic Krieg army? What do you think? Should we get our hopes up? Maybe it's just a handful of miniatures that will be released? Maybe there's going to be another kill team box like Pariah Nexus that features some Krieg figures? Or maybe we will get a box of plastic troops only to have a core unit for kill team that we could later expand with additional Forge World purchases. The question I have is, would they really show Creek in the trailer if there wasn't something Creek related on the horizon? Something that is produced by Games Workshop and not Forge World. Honestly, anything we could get would make me incredibly happy and I would gladly revisit the myriads of grimdark stories of the future you could tell through the death core of Krieg in plastic.